Welcome to the Rochester, New Hampshire History Podcast, a monthly show that will shine a light on a piece of history that has been all but forgotten. In the 1940s, a day at the Rochester Fair was unforgettable. There was livestock, art, food, simple contests, and a midway full of rides. When you left the fair, you would have nothing but good memories. On September 24th, 1948, Fairgoers were left with memories of bravery, heroism, and sacrifice that no one would ever forget. Near the 4-H building at the fairgrounds, there was a small memorial. The memorial reads, dedicated to Captain John Fairchild of Rochester, Michigan, killed September 24, 1948, leading a flight demonstration of three F-84 Thunderjets from Dow Air Force Base, Bangor, Maine. The memorial is not easily noticed and can be missed. In 1948, a special event was planned for the fair. Three F-84 fighter jets would make three passes over the fairgrounds at an altitude of only 1,000 feet. The three jets would be from Dow Air Force Base in Bangor, Maine. They were the only jet fighter outfit in the northeastern United States. On September 24th, around 3 o'clock, a warning had been issued to keep all horses off the racing track. A few minutes later, three jets zoomed over the fairgrounds. Over 12,000 spectators cheered the planes and awaited the next pass. The three jets quickly returned for a second flyover. The lead jet was piloted by Captain John Fairchild. However, something went wrong with his jet. It left a formation and quickly lost altitude. Fairchild's jet had experienced mechanical failure and had caught on fire. The jet careened toward the grandstands, which was filled with thousands of spectators. Realizing the enormous casualties that would result, the jet crashed into the grandstand. Captain Fairchild put on a burst of speed. He steered the burning jet over the grandstand, away from the thousands of spectators. As soon as he cleared the grandstands, the jet exploded. Captain John Fairchild sacrificed his life to save everyone in the grandstands. The explosion was powerful. Pieces of the jet were scattered over a wide area. The jet's tail was found on Brock Street. The gas tanks were found near the Holy Rosary Cemetery. The cause of the accident was never discovered, despite a government investigation. A full military funeral was held Wednesday, September 28th at 3 o'clock in Rochester, Michigan. Captain Fairchild entered the Air Corps on March 14, 1943 and received his wings in commission as a second lieutenant on January 4, 1944 in Victoria, Texas. He was sent overseas to the Mediterranean Theater in June of 1944 and was assigned to the 12th Air Force. Captain Fairchild was a flight leader in his squadron and flew 97 combat missions over enemy territory. His squadron was the first fighter squadron over the coast on the morning of the invasion of southern France, flying P-47 Thunderbolts. He was promoted to the rank of captain in March of 1945. After the war, he was sent to Edwards Air Force Base, where he learned to fly jet planes. In December of 1946, he was transferred to Dow Air Force Base in Bangor, Maine, where the 14th Fighter Group was being formed to fly the new F-84 Thunderjet fighter. John Fairchild married Constance Crabtree of Los Angeles, California on September 11, 1948, which occurred two weeks before the fatal crash. This ends the podcast. If you have any questions or comments, please email bobgriffinpodcast at gmail.com. And come back next month for another episode of Rochester, New Hampshire History.